Hey YouTube, this is the Pooper Scooper. <clears throat> Had a couple of requests for a walkthrough, uh, kind of just showing you my battle station and my uh, my room and just the kind of setup I got going here. So I'm just gonna show you all that. Um, I'm gonna start out with uh, I guess the TV and the speakers. Um, on the left, there is on the far left that big white speaker. That is a, uh, a Stealth Acoustics uh, A3. It's actually designed to go in your wall, uh, cut into your wall flush with um, <clears throat> flush with the sheetrock, and then you actually tape and mud and texture over it lightly, and then you can paint it, and it's totally invisible. So these A3s are kind of more for uh, your home theater in the front, but uh, I got them outside of the outside the wall because in my room I can't. I don't have. Uh, it's not framed in uh, drywall, so I just got them in. I got them in back boxes, kind of see them. And uh, I have those set up for movies, and they sound good. They sound, uh, they're really dynamic. They got a kind of a, it's not a really true sound to them, I guess, but for movies, you kind of want that exaggerated, bigger sound, you know, big sound stage to them. And then um, I, I like them a lot. <clears throat> Someday when I have a, uh, a house with actual walls, I will uh, have those framed in. And then the next speakers are these. These are uh, <clears throat> Tenoy DI-8s and uh kind of custom boxes it doesn't really focus but yeah they're Tenoy D8s great sounding speakers I love them they're uh they're what I have set up just for music a little dirty with some sunglasses but they're uh they're nice I like those a lot and then my TV is actually just a it's old it's a Sony Wagner Trinitron I think I forget the model number but it, it's a decent TV it's got a good picture to it um eventually I'd like to get a probably like an NEC 60 inch flat panel display or something but that's in the future. Um, my remote, what I'm using is a Universal Control. I can focus. Everyone has this problem. It's a Universal Control MX5000. Um, great remote. It uh, It's <clears throat> touchscreen. Really responsive. It's honestly way too much for me and really, really hard to program. So I haven't got all the functions. So I think I'm going to sell it and buy just some kind of Logitech, Logitech remote. I'm not sure which ones. Um, that's about it for speed. Oh, subwoofer. Uh, over here, custom built. It's a down firing sub with a Rockford Fosgate. I want to say Rockford Fosgate Punch 3 dual voice coil. It might not be. It might not be a punch. I know it's a dual, a dual voice coil. T dual. Oh, Jesus. Dual voice coil. 10 inch. Um, Rockford Fosgate. Not. It's not. It's a sealed box. Not ported. It's got Dynamat inside of it, and then it's uh, just got you know, fiberglass, but it's pretty basic. It's a good sub, though. I like the sound. It's powered by this amp. Uh, still hard to see. It's, uh, I think it's a 200 watt. I got it off of, I got it from work, but it's from Parts Express, and it's, uh, it's actually a nice amp. Sounds good. Next to it, I have my, uh, my VM server. Uh, again, I got that from work, but it's a Intel quad core, um, with, f uh, four gigs of RAM in it, so it's not super powerful. Um, it's running... VMware uh, ESXi 5 with just the free license and then on top it's inside of it it's got a terabyte drive and then a 500 terabyte drive and then 500 gig drive in it um, and then in the back of it it's got a uh, 8 gig flash drive that ESXi 5 is actually installed on uh, and then on top I have an external hard drive like one terabyte which I keep all my just TV on it just television shows I've acquired from the internet and then uh, <clears throat> inside on that terabyte drive it partitioned into two parts and then it's got a virtual drive with all the t with all the movies so 500 gigs for that and then uh, here's the rack kind of an overview of what it is I guess I'll start at the top this is a, a bang and Alt bang and Altsford I think is how you say it it's a, a god damn uh, bang and Altsford it's a, a biogram 2400 with a uh, uh, MMC 4000 head shell stylus. Uh, great turntable. It's older, but I replaced the belts and had everything greased and lubed, and it, it runs pretty nice. Oh, here, that's kind of cool. These are all the badges that I've stolen from schools that I've worked at. I've got quite a collection of them now, but I've been collecting those. Um, so on the top of the rack, uh, it's a a, a Furman power conditioner um, it's got the lights that you can kind of see it come in and out so it lights up the rack and they're 
adjustable so you can turn it up and down. Below that, it's it's an amplifier. It's a Lepaia, L-E-P-A-I, Stereo Class T Digital Audio Amplifier. That's what I'm using to power the Tenoise. It's 20 watts by two channels, so it's adequate for powering those Tenoise. Sounds great. If you gotta let it heat up for a couple days, I, I normally I never turn it off. Um, after about three days of just being on, it, it kind of cleans up the sound a little. Hard to describe, but it's a very it's a powerful amp and it sounds it honestly sounds better than my Sony receiver um, and I like it better. That's why I have it up, set up for the Tenoise because those are better speakers than the A3s. Uh, below that is a Samsung Blu-ray player. It's a wireless smart Blu-ray player, I guess. I honestly haven't used it yet because my TV doesn't support HDMI or uh, it doesn't. Yeah, I can't I can't get it working. So that's future for when I have an actual TV or I get my projector set back up. Below that is a Sony Digital Audio Video uh, Control Center. It's the STR-DG720. Um, it's a nice receiver. I like it. It doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles. Um, doesn't have on-screen a menu, so I can't bring it up on the TV to adjust things, but I mean, you can do it on there, which works. But uh, yeah, DVD, Xbox, Spitfin, uh, radio, XM, uh, uh, ports. <laughs> If you had an iPod, you could use that. Um, below that is an American Audio GX300 uh, two-channel amplifier. Uh, 300 watts by two channels. Uh, it's an okay amp. I used to use that for uh, my uh, surround speakers. Below that is a Stealth Acoustics 255R subwoofer amplifier, which uh, not being used this second. But, uh, under, oh yeah, underneath the A3s, uh, I can't really see them. There's 8-inch... Uh, 8 inch woofers uh, and ported boxes but I had the ports filled with some foam just because I liked it better when it was not a ported box. It gets a little more punchy, it's not so... I'm going for quality, not decibels, and it just had a better sound. Uh, below the amp there's an Xbox 360, uh, it's rack mounted, I made a custom rack mount, CNC'd it out uh, at work. And then below that is another power conditioner for more shit in the rack, and then uh, down there I have a... Uh, distribution amplifier for audio, I use that occasionally when I have to, I used it at my desk before but now it's not being used and I have some video games, I got my little Acer netbook, it's old and I lost the power supply for it so I can't use it which sucks, but that's pretty much that part of the bedroom, I got a Zen garden, that's kind of cool right, maybe not, alright, um, and then my desk, It's it looks messy but it's kind of not, oh yeah, starting here, if you come over, Try to rob me. Hey, I got the uh, Winchester uh, SXP 12 gauge shotgun with a slug in the first shot, so don't fuck with me, please. That's not a threat either. Uh, okay, starting out of HP Pavilion uh, DV4 notebook. Uh, it's an Intel dual core, 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, use that quite a bit. Um, and then I have my desktop. Uh, the right two monitors with the map on it, that's a uh, Intel dual core with 4 gigs of RAM, terabyte hard drive, I think. And then next to that is my portrait monitor that's set up to another laptop, which is, uh, is an AMD processor. I don't remember exactly what it is, but it's mainly my file server. It's got a 3 terabyte drive connected to it um, that I do a lot of backups to. It's got gigabit, a gigabit board in it so I can do backups to it. And it works, and I got, it's nice. It's great for Reddit. Um, I like having this and then uh, being able to look at it and then comments is the best part so when you uh, open up your comments and hide the damn sidebar uh, you can just scroll and scroll forever even if you minimize them uh, down below kinda hard to see I have the uh, M-Audio Fast Track Pro that's for I guess uh, audio from my desktop and then next to it is an external uh, uh, CD drive, DVD burner, light scribe. Uh, that's hooked up to the laptop just because I can't get to the CD drive. Um, push that back. Over here I have a, a Linksys, uh, Linksys Wireless G broadband router. Um, it's got uh, DDWRT on it. Um, just basically use it as a network switch. Next side is my uh, Canon... SXI, I think it is, uh, digital SLR, 
good camera. And then I have uh, my, my mouse, a Logitech mouse, and then my other mouse on the right for doing audio editing and video editing. And it's kind of a, it's okay, but I personally like this mouse better, a lot better actually. Standard Microsoft keyboard. Um, on the desktop, I have uh, uh, vSphere client running. You can see kind of what I got going on. It's only got two virtual machines, a uh, Windows 2K8 R2 and then an XP video, uh, an XP machine that I use for video server, which I can show you over here on my laptop. I have, I got, I always have this laptop. If it's on my desk, it's pretty much just running the XP, which is set up for, uh, with Windows Media Connect for streaming to the Xbox, which works well. I actually really like it. There's uh, the new, this is 2.0, I think, and the new edition of it is built into Windows Media Player, and I don't like it. It was kind of a pain. I, I mean, I play with it a little, but this is just so straightforward and simple. You got your devices, your sharing, and then settings is basically you can restart your firewall and start or stop to sharing, which comes in great. And then I got a graph on there for the... Uh, for uh, bandwidth, just to show what, uh, how much bandwidth I'm using, and then if I hit play on the Xbox, get something going, see if I can get a little response out of it. Maybe not. Oh, you can see it getting a little bit bigger. It's starting to get big. That's what she said. Um, oh, speakers behind it. They're uh, university sounds. They got six-inch woofers in them. Uh, not being used right now. Eventually when I get another one of those Lapai or whatever they're called, amplifiers, I'll have it set up, but that's going to be later. Oh, I got a police scanner too. That's uh, very handy to have. I use it all the time. Listen for shit coming through. I have it in my car a lot of the time, so when I'm driving, I can listen if there's a, if I get a police report for a white two-door traveling at high speeds on the freeway, cutting people off. I know how to st slow down or get off the freeway. Uh, oh. Don't know what it's called, but it's a Logitech wireless thing. I'll, eventually, I'll use with uh, Xbox Media Center on my TV once I get a new TV. My new getting a new TV is kind of holding me up. Once I get that, a lot of things will come together. I actually have a Media Center PC and be able to use this thing. But it's pretty cool. I got it set up to my laptop. I was just playing around with it earlier just to test it out, make sure it all works. But uh, it's actually really nice. I hate this this plastic deal right here. Pain in the ass. I wish it flipped all the way back or was just gone or came off or something because it just looks like a like I'm a Power Ranger or something, and it's a little fucking screen. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much my setup currently. Uh, any questions, leave a comment. Uh, we'll get back to you. All right, have a good one.